My name is Shreve Siddiqui. I'm a local Islamic calligraphy artist, and uh, I go to the U of M. I was introduced to Islamic calligraphy at around sixth or seventh grade, so I was still in middle school. And it's been a, a long time, almost a decade since then. And um, yeah, so first, my creative outlet used to be sketching and drawing things, but as I got more into my Islamic studies, I actually realized and found out that, you know, that's not really Islamically the best way to express your creativity. So then I got, took, I took calligraphy more seriously after that. And then I started um, teaching myself from online videos on YouTube, trying to imitate some works of some masters and stuff like that. So that's basically how I began. And then um, from there, I made a business out of it and I am an established local artist now. Actually last year, even the queen of Malaysia recognized one of my works and actually invited me to paint a wall of her palace. So that was all very interesting. Because the early preservers of the Holy Quran, the text of Islam, they were the ones that transcribed it down. So I feel like I've, I'm kind of continuing in that path by writing down some of the holy text. What goes into prepare, preparing a calligraphy piece is first and foremost, the hardest part is definitely the planning, how everything is gonna fit, where it's going to fit. And that probably takes up the majority of my time whenever I start a piece because you want to make it look like it flows. It should look natural because when I started, uh, my work was kind of like, it looked okay, but it didn't have that flow. Like the best word I could think to describe it is choppy, even though the letters were exactly how they're supposed to be. They just didn't go together. And so after the planning portion, uh, you have to decide on the color scheme. And I really like working with gold colors, gold inks and black. So I really like the contrast of those two colors. And you'll see blue also in a lot of my works because I just think blue is something that's really easy on the eyes. And it's also a very popular color in um, classical Ottoman uh, calligraphy. So that's most of my references and most of my inspirations are from that time period because I feel like that, that was like the golden age of Islamic calligraphy.